Okay, here it is. It is the MI6 from XP. Uh, I did have to open the box. I'll just tell you that right off the bat. So this isn't a uh, pure unboxing. And the reason for that is because it was completely dead. Uh, the battery was dead. Uh, and we'll get to that in a second about the rechargeable battery. But before we get to that, let's do a uh, small review on my old pin pointer. Here she is. Camouflage. Not my first choice. <laughs> Uh, in fact, it's probably the worst choice when it comes to a pinpointer. I lost this thing constantly. I mean, it just blends in with the grass. You know, if you're out in the dirt or you're out in the bush, it, you're just going to lose it. I don't. Whoever's idea was to make a camouflage pinpointer should be fired. <laughs> it's so stupid. Such a bad idea. Um, but it was cheap. I bought it used. And it was in pretty rough shape when I got it, but I've really roughed it up lately. Um, yeah, I mean, the whole back is peeled off. The O-ring's gone. It still works for now. Um, sometimes it's pretty finicky. But, uh, you know, the buttons are starting to wear down. I mean, it, it works. It's okay. It's, it's got some cool features to it. It's really loud, but uh, I think that's because the speaker port got broken. <laughs> And I did it. I actually did that by accident. Um, but this thing has actually filled up with water a couple times when I've when I've gone detecting. I honestly don't know how it still works. I really don't. It should it should be dead, and it's showing signs that it's dying. So I had to get a new one, um, and I figured I would get one of the better ones. Now I had a choice between the Garrett, um, call it the Garrett Carrot. It's orange or the XP, and I actually looked over quite a few different videos, and people really like the XP, quite a lot. Um, now I got the MI6, and that is meant to be used with a Deus, but I don't have one. Um, but I got such a great deal on it that I don't really care. So let's go ahead and open the box and see what's inside. All right, I'm gonna try to do this one-handed. Um, box is pretty straightforward, you know, just black, nothing crazy. You got the serial number on the side. Um, Made in France, which I actually appreciate. They make a big deal about it being made in France and not in China, uh, which is, which is kind of nice. This is just the uh, Amazon inventory label. Thinner cardboard, nothing too crazy. Uh, I, I really just, I kind of wish they would go one step further with the packaging on these. I know it's not terrible by any means, and you're just gonna probably throw it away anyways or recycle it, but eh, it doesn't blow you away. <laughs> So inside when we first open it up, here it is. Uh, this thing looks pretty heavy duty, you know, compared to my other one, that's really thin plastic. Um, it's very, very light, other than the nine volt battery. This, by, by the way, did take nine volt batteries and it burns through them. I mean, you get maybe you know, six hours total out of it. All right, yeah, go, bye, <laughs> I'm done with you. Uh, this one has a rechargeable lithium ion battery. Um, now when you first charge it and you get out of the box, it's going to take about three hours to charge. And the way that it charges is by taking off the end cap, and we'll get to that in a second. But first, let's take it out and see what we got. So the first thing you're going to see here is you do have a belt clip, which is pretty good. It's actually pretty nice. This is heavy ABS plastic. Um, this feels also like plastic with some rivets on there. Uh, you got your standard nylon. I don't know what this could be for. Maybe your digging tool? I mean, that would actually be kind of cool right up front here, but I doubt it. I don't think it's big enough. It's just some Velcro, so I'm not entirely sure what that could be used for. Um, it is padded on the inside, so it shouldn't bother you too much. And this does rotate, which I appreciate. Maybe if I can get it with one hand here. There we go. Super heavy duty, sturdy. There you go. Pretty nice. Now, I'm, I have a, a little pouch that I'm getting here shortly that's going to have one of these built into it, so I don't know that I'm going to use this, but not bad quality. I'm actually pretty impressed with this. Other items you get in the box, a mini USB cable, and that is for charging. Um, I've heard this can do firmware updates, but I don't know how. I, I may, Maybe it's through this, and I, I haven't gone on the website yet to see if there's anything available, but I'll check into that later. You've also got this lanyard cable plastic. They also make a very big deal about these being stainless steel loops. I mean, honestly, if you spend the money on the stainless steel and then you make the rest of it cheap plastic, does it matter? Because <laughs> it 
the plastic's going to break before the stainless steel. I would have rather have seen these be maybe a better material. It just feels like this is rubber. This just feels kind of cheapo plastic. Maybe they'll make, make this metal on a metal ring and then attach it to some kind of higher quality material. I don't know. I probably won't use this. I'm not a huge fan of, of having things attached to me. It just gets annoying and I get tangled in it and I end up taking it off. So that will stay in the box. Uh, you've got the instruction manual down here, which is pretty thorough, and it goes through all of the different, oh boy, look at this, languages of the world. Um, we got all the features here. Now, a lot of these actually require, under the more features, uh, the, de the de deus, 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 I don't know. Um, most of those require that metal detector, and I don't have it. But a couple things that it does do, uh, just standalone. Obviously, it's got the 360 detection all the way around the outside. Uh, LED on and off. Funny story. You can't turn it off. It's always on. So I guess the off feature means when you turn it off. Okay, well, fair enough. Access all functions with one single button. Now, I do like that because my old one had two different buttons and I constantly forgot which one did which thing. Um, this one has, depending on how long you hold it, several functions. We'll get to that in a second loudspeaker and vibration on and off. Another funny thing I learned, now my old detector, you could actually turn off, <laughs> you could turn off the vibrate feature because that really honestly bugs me. Huge bummer when I found out that you can't do that on this. It's always on, the vibrate feature is always on. Now you can turn the speaker off, but you can't turn the vibrate feature off. That's a big kind of letdown, to be honest, and I never read anywhere that that was a thing. So to you guys looking to buy one of these, if you don't like the thing vibrating, don't get this one because you can't turn it off. Um, that was kind of a bummer. Uh, three levels of sensitivity, true. Retune. I mean, I think that's just ground balancing. I don't know really what else that could be. The advanced features. You can hit, you can do audio output to the, to the XP detector. I don't have that. Advanced settings, I don't have that. Anti-interference system, don't have that. Seven programs, we'll get to that in a second. Two audio modes, pitch or pulse. I believe that that has something to do with the Deus, and I don't have that either. Six meters waterproof, that's impressive. And you can actually tell, I mean, this thing is built really, really, really well. The very, very thick plastic, really heavily rubberized. I totally believe it. It's definitely got a gasket up there when I took the cap off. Um, six meters is pretty good. I mean, I don't think I'm ever going to go down that far, but man, that's crazy. Adjust the audio tone. I don't know. All the rest of this, you know, a lot of that has to do with connecting to the uh, detector that I don't have. Um, it does say the parts are totally interchangeable, which is nice. So if you need to take the thing apart and actually change some stuff out, that's pretty cool. Um, if you do have an XP detector, I think this thing is a miracle. Um, you're able to control a ton of stuff just directly from the detector. Uh, I don't have that. I just need a really good pinpointer and this one feels to me like it's pretty solid. Uh, you should get, now it says 90 hours with a connection to the Deus. They're not going to get that on its own. And the, now the reason they're claiming 90 hours is because when you connect it to the metal detector, it turns off the vibrate feature. Thanks. The one thing I want. Um, and it turns off the audio because all that stuff goes through the metal detector and eventually through your headphones. So you're gonna get way longer battery life. I don't know how long the battery life works just on its own. I guess I'm gonna have to find that out. Um, but it does take three hours to charge up fully. So let's take a look at the detector itself once we get this out of the way. Um, very, very thick, heavy, totally sealed ABS plastic. The color is nice. It's not bad. I'm definitely gonna see it. You know, you pop that in the grass, you're not gonna lose it. That guy, I hate that thing. Uh, <laughs> rubberized kind of material around the button. The button is really, really stiff, which I actually think is a good thing because that thing's not gonna break down like my other one did. Um, you got your branding on the side. All in all, pretty nice. It does have a scraper blade on it, which I appreciate. I don't use that that much and I probably should because I've nicked a coin or two a couple times because I use my digging tool. This thing might actually be a better idea to kind of scrape once you, once you get in there close. Um, the LED is a little kind of see-through window, and I just saw it flash at me, which was weird because it's not on. <laughs> That's really strange. 
that's odd. Okay. Um, let's go ahead and unscrew this back here. Now it does have a recessed area. I thought that was kind of weird. I don't understand why. It does have the little lanyard attached here. I'm going to try to do this with one hand. I might need to set the down. Okay, I'm back. So in here you've got, uh, it looks like the USB connector, a couple screws if you need to get in there and replace anything, and I'm guessing that's probably some kind of diagnostics port. I don't know. They don't really talk about that though. It's interesting. And I don't even know what kind of connector that is. So we're just not going to worry about it. Let's go ahead and turn it on. Just hold it down for a second. Ah, oh, crazy noises. There's your light, and you can hear it going off already. Now, one thing I like about this, it doesn't beep, it actually has 50 levels of progression in noise. And I'll give you a, a, an example of what that looks like. So we've got our USB, oh, there we go. We've got our USB cable down here. So let's go ahead and see how far we can get away. Oh, it's detecting the table. Let's use the table. I mean, that's a good four or five inches away, but that's a really big object. So let's put this on the ground. We'll use some real testing here. We are, yeah, for that thing about two inches, two and a half inches away. Not bad, you can hear it getting louder and higher in pitch. And there you go. Uh, you can feel the vibration, it's, it's really, really evident. <laughs> You can definitely hear. Now to get into the programming modes to change sensitivity and things like that, you hold down the button for five seconds. So we'll do that. Makes a noise. And then as you hit the button, you can hear it going up in pitch. It has seven different modes. And then it resets back to one again. One is low vibration, sorry, low sensitivity. Two is medium sensitivity. Three is high sensitivity and then it goes to four which is going to be uh, no audio low sensitivity no audio medium no audio high and then level seven is actually completely silent no vibration with a connection directly to your metal detector that I don't have so out of the box uh, and by default it actually goes to audio on vibration on you can't change it um, and medium sensitivity, which for all practical purposes should be fine. Um, it's pretty bright. It's pretty bright. I'm not gonna lie. I think my old one probably might have been a tad bit brighter, but I kind of like the field of brightness that this one has. It, it kind of casts a uh, kind of a bigger area, which I which I like, and it does light up the ground pretty well. So overall, I'm excited to use this. It's sturdy. It's a little heavier than my old one, but I think that's a good thing in this case because honestly, it feels very, very well made. Uh, and I'm excited to use it. So check out my upcoming videos. You'll see me use it in an action. I give it, uh, I don't know, like a eight out of 10. The one thing that I would have really liked, turn that stupid motor off. I would have really enjoyed that. But overall, not bad. There you go, XPMI6.